Hey everyone! So today I have a haul for you and let's start with Mac Quite Cute because that's probably going to be the thing that you're most interested in. Um, what I have been doing the last few months is when Mac releases a new collection I pick out one or two things from that because otherwise it just gets to be crazy money. Um, because they have so many collections coming out all the time that, you know, you just, you can't have everything. And if you get everything from one collection, then when the next collection comes, you won't be able to get anything. So I would rather get one or two items from each limited edition collection. Plus, I still am trying to collect MAC eyeshadows from the permanent line. So, um, that's the way I've been doing it anyway. Now, the Quite Cute collection um, has some items in it that have been released previously. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the lipstick that I am wearing is St. Germain, which is part of the permanent line, but uh, most MAC counters don't stock this for some reason. So, if you were to buy this when the Quite Collect quite cute collection wasn't out, you would have to probably go to either a Mac store or, or, or order it online. I'm having trouble talking today. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> it is an amplified. And uh, like I said, I'm wearing it on my lips and I put just a little tiny bit of gloss over it. Um, it's a beautiful color, but not the easiest color in the world to wear because it's that one of those Barbie doll pinks that people like. Um, but yeah, it's if you don't already own it, uh, you could pick it up with Quite Cute if that's what's convenient for you. Or you could wait because, like I said, it is permanent. And what is not permanent is quite cute the lipstick. The collection is quite cute and this lipstick is quite cute. And it is a pale purple or a lavender, a light lavender. <clears throat> this is also not the easiest color in the world to pull off because it is very light. Uh, the texture is a cream sheen though and I tried it on um, right after I left the store. I put it on and um, I wiped it off later and then redid my lips with the Saint Germain. Um, I'll wear this in a video soon so that you can see what it looks like, but I just love these kind of light pale colors. Um, it's easier to pull it off when you are fair or have cool toned skin, but um, they're just so pretty that I can't resist. I do have some other lipsticks like this, but I had to see the MAC one because there was another color that came out years ago called Lavender Whip by MAC. And I think that was about two years ago. And I had just started really getting into MAC about mm, three months maybe after that collection came out. So I missed out on Lavender Whip, so I did not want to miss out on Quite Cute. So hopefully I'll enjoy that. And then um, MAC re-promoted some lip liners in this collection that they had come out in previous collections. In a previous collection, I bought um, Naked, which that's not what this is. Let's see. I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed Subculture. Oops, I'm dropping everything here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I had picked this up in a previous collection, but I'm going to show you because it is part of Quite Cute. And this is a definite nude lip liner and this is great to use with things like creme de nude, myth, that sort of thing. Um, if you don't have something like this it's going to be pretty tough to wear those lipsticks so I would say if you like nude lipsticks you should definitely have naked liner. And the lip pencil that I picked up today is called In Sync, and this is also very handy liner to have because it's uh, like um, 
either a peachy pink or a yellow pink depending on how it, you would describe it but that's it right there and I didn't have anything like this and I do have many lipsticks that will look terrific with this in sync one of these days I'm gonna to learn to take the phone off the hook when I'm trying to film because never fails <laughs> okay so Back to what I was saying. So the two things that I chose from this collection was the quite cute lipstick and the in sync lip pencil and the other two things I showed you I already had because they were re-released from previous collections. And then while I was there, because oh I went to a MAC store rather than a MAC counter, I bought a couple eyeshadows from the permanent line. This is Juxt and it's a very pretty green color and it's somewhat similar to the nail polish that I have on today which is by Stargazer and this is doesn't have a name it's number 108 it's not pretty but yeah I thought that uh, I mean I, I didn't buy the eyeshadow to just because I had the nail polish or anything but I did happen to notice it was pretty much the same color this is two coats on my nails but I probably could have gone three or four because it's um, very thin, but yeah, this is Juxt and uh, beautiful, beautiful green for spring. And I also got Gleam, which looks like that. And Mac calls this a pinked gold, and I, I don't see that. To me, it looks more like a peachy pink, or uh, yeah, I guess it could be a golden pink, but depends on how you look at it. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> Dropping everything here. So that just looks like straight up peach to me when it's swatched. And then let me swatch the, the juxt. There's the juxt. And there's gleam. Liz, you can fit quite a few nail polishes on here. So if you're looking for that, it's um... It says neat things original expand a shelf and they have them in different sizes uh, this I think is the medium size which would be best for nail polishes though because the the depth of the shelves is just the right um, size for nail polish bottles but yeah I knew I was gonna need need a place to put some more so I don't know where I'm gonna put this but, because my bureau is completely full of nail polishes but I gotta get ready for that shipment that's going to be coming. So, um, I think that's it for what I picked up today. And for products today, I'm wearing Guerlain Meteorites Foundation Primer. I'm wearing Revlon Colorstay Makeup. And as far as what I was saying yesterday about the sunscreen, this has got SPF 15. Most of my favorite foundations have SPF in them, so I'm just going to use them up and then when I repurchase foundations in the future, I'll just look to see if they have sunscreen in them and, you know, try to get ones that, that don't. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've got on the MAC Truth and Light uh, Magically Cool Liquid Powder. And um, if you missed out on this in the Disney collection, this is going to be permanent pretty soon. It's coming out. They're going to relaunch it with like a special thing. Uh, I think that's in May, but I'm not positive. But they're going to be making that permanent, so you'll be able to pick that up if you missed out before. MAC Pink Cult Blush. This was from the last collection that came out. Um, eyeshadows today I'm wearing... This is on my lids, this green one, it's called Aquavert, and in the crease I have um, Sweet Lust, which is this pink right here, and then um, my highlight is uh, the Ico Cream, I put it here, here, and here. Uh, my brows, def Maybelline Define a Brow in Light Blonde, my eyeliner is Boots number seven in blue-gray. That was part of a swap with June. 
Um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, MAC Opulash Mascara. Um, my lip pencil today is Maybelline number 15 pink and the um, St. Germain lipstick and the Stargazer nail polish that I showed you before. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the haul and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.